Rosanna, a holy show is coming to Bell Table here. Yeah. Could you tell us a bit about the show and what people can expect? So it's a really funny piece of theatre um, and it's uh, it's based on the real life events of um, the 1981 hijacking of an Aer Lingus flight by an ex Trappist monk called Lawrence Downey. And uh, yeah, so basically he hijacked a flight that was going from Dublin to London and he burst into the cockpit with a bottle of holy water that he said was petrol and um, a little tube of purple crystals from a children's chemistry set that he said was cyanide. And he demanded that uh, the, the flight be diverted to Iran. But the pilot told him, I don't have enough fuel to get to Iran, I've, I can, but I can, we can go to Paris. And so they ended up going to Paris. And his whole, um, his whole motivation was that he wanted the third secret of Fatima to be released by the Pope. So he wanted to get the Pope on the phone and demanded that this, this state secret within the Vatican uh, be released. <laughs> so, uh, as an actor, the, the first time you read a script like that, yeah, it's funny because when I was casting it, like I was telling uh, friends the plot and I was like, it, it is true, like it did happen, you know. Um, but I always really, as an actor, it's a real treat to um, to play out stuff that's happened within history. Um, and the production, it's a really funny production and it's, it, and it's also, but it's also really heartfelt and it captures all the intensity in the moments as well, in the cockpit when he bursts in and how the passengers felt, uh, like how alarmed they were. Um, but the production has also built in original footage from the archives. Uh, so you see clips of Albert Reynolds getting on the plane and the passengers talking to the camera and we, like a, a, a video of uh, the French security forces as well who, who basically um, arrested Lawrence Downey. Um, so the production has built in the history really well with the fun and energy of the piece. And, and your role in the show? I play nine or ten different roles in the show, so <laughs> it's myself and Mark Fitzgerald, it's a two-hander and uh, we're playing maybe nine or ten characters each, but um, Janet, who wrote it and also directed it, has done a brilliant job in um, creating a really good like physical score for the whole thing, so it's it, while we're playing nine or ten characters each, it's still very easy to follow and, uh, and still challenging at the same time, um, so yeah, we're playing like lots of different characters and they're all really interesting and really fun. And as an actor, how is it switching between the characters so quickly? Um, it just becomes um, it just becomes part of it. It's like learning your lines. You just develop a physicality for a character and then a different voice for a character. And uh, as soon as you have to like, there's one section that we call it the bing section because it's the you hear the bing from the overhead and you have to change character really quickly. And it's only a sentence each between each one. Um, but we develop we basically discovered that a strong physical gesture will indicate to the audience you're with this character now you're with this character now and it becomes almost like the a game with the audience like they really enjoy realizing oh that's who we have now oh we're back to this person oh where are they now and that kind of thing so um yeah it just becomes part of the language of the piece really and what do you think uh, audiences will get from the show um I think they'll get the element of surprise that actually this really did happen and I think they'll really enjoy the Irishness of it, like that only an Irish flight could go, th could be, could be this ridiculous. Um, and you know that passengers could respond in such a heartfelt way to what was a very serious situation. Um, so Janet has done a brilliant job of uh, getting all that comedy across and making sure that um, she's doing the, the seriousness of what was a, a tough situation justice as well. And how did you find working with Janet? Brilliant. Like Janet is a fantastic actor that I've like admired for years. So getting to work with her on her own script and having being under her direction has been great. Um, she's a brilliant director and she's really articulate in her notes and really encouraging and really enthusiastic. So um, yeah, great. And she brings a load of fun to the room. And, and it's been on tour. So how has it been received in other places? Really well. It's going, going down really, really well. We were in Galway last night. We had a great reception there. And uh, we were in the Project Arts Centre in Dublin before that. And uh, yeah, we've gotten like really good responses and um, like audience members afterwards telling us like diff their favorite parts of the play and what they loved and what really stood out for them. Um, and because it's only an hour and 10 minutes, like sometimes you don't think everything will land, but everything seems to really be landing in this production, which is which is great. And, and it was in the Fringe circuit. Wasn't it? it was, yes. Yeah, so it started in the Fringe, Dublin Fringe Festival in 2018 with um, Katrina Ennis and Patrick Moy, two brilliant actors. And then they went to Edinburgh with it as well. And it went down brilliantly there. Um, so they've moved on and myself and Mark Fitzgerald have taken over from them. Brilliant. And people can see the show this weekend. They can see the show this weekend, Friday and Saturday in the Bell Table.
Thanks very much. Thanks.